if the velocity of a particle moving along the x-axis is v of t equal 3t power of 2 plus 6t for time t greater than or equal to 0, if at t equal 0, its position is 2. What is the position of a particle at time t equal 1? To calculate the position, we need to integrate the velocity. So let's write that down. S of t, which is the position, is equal to the indifference integral of v of t dt. And now we will use the information from the question to find the position. So S of t is equal to the integ indifference integral of 3t power of 2 plus 60. So it is v of t, which we get from the question, which we got from the question. So of 3t power of 2 plus 60 dt. And now we're going to integrate it by using the power rule. So 3t power of 2 plus 1, which is 3 over 3, plus 6t power of 1 plus 1, which is 2 over 2, plus c. And now we will simplify it. So s of t, which is the position, is equal to 3t power of 3 divided by 3 is t power of 3. Plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. t power of 2 plus c. And now let's find c. Let's go back to the question. It said that position is 2 when t is equal to 0. So we're just going to replace position with 2 and t with 0. So s of t, which is the position, is equal to 2, which is 2, is equal to t, which is 0, power of 3, plus 3t, which is 0, times, three, times 0, power of 2, plus c. And now let's simplify it. It's going to be 2 equals 0 plus c. After moving 0 the other side, c is equal to 2. Now let's write the position. s of t is equal to t power of 3 plus 3t power of 2 plus 2 then c is equal to 2. And let's go back to the question again. It asks us, what is the position of a particle at time t equal 1? So we're going to just replace t with 1. Equal 1 power of 3 plus 3 times 1 power of 2 plus 2 and after putting it in the calculator the final answer is s of t equal to 6 the answer is 6 which is c